Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new. My daughter just turned six a few days ago and I had a little Gabby's Dollhouse themed birthday party for her at the house. Uh, nothing crazy but I wanted to go ahead and share with you guys our party prep at home. Um, I will have some things linked down below that I purchased for the party and then I'm also sharing with you a little arts and crafts idea um, if you guys are doing a Gabby's Dollhouse party for your little one. I hope you get a little bit of inspiration uh, throughout this video. I cannot believe Sydney is six years old. It is wild and mind-blowing to me how fast it went. So if you are unfamiliar, Gabby's Dollhouse is a children's show on Netflix and it's fairly new. I believe it's only a couple years old at this point and it follows this little girl who shrinks down to the size of her toys inside her dollhouse and they go on little adventures and I love it because sometimes they show um, different ways to make characters out of pancakes and food, which is just something near and dear to my heart as I do that with Sydney all the time time. So uh, Sydney did decide on this Gabby's Dollhouse birthday theme. The first thing that I did order was this little pack or set from Amazon. It came with this plastic table covering. It came with some napkins, larger plates, smaller plates, and purple forks. I did go ahead and purchase some more napkins, plates, and then different forks at uh, Target as well, just because I wanted to make sure we had enough of everything. And then I also went ahead at Target and got these little headbands and they have all the different characters, Murkat, Cupcake, Pandy. I don't even know all the characters myself, but uh, the kids had fun just wearing the headbands if they wanted as well. And then they had a banner. Sydney knows all the character names and I don't know who these are but she knew exactly who these are um, on the banner so just something a little bit extra to spruce up the house with.
For party favors for the kids, I decided to go with these um, little ceramic painting sets from Target. They are the Mondo Llama line. They are only $5 each, and I just thought these would be absolutely perfect. Instead of buying all kinds of little packs of trinkets that, you know, how that goes, they either get lost or don't get used, and then, you know, they're $5 each pack adding up, I would have spent the same amount. So I just thought that these would be the most perfect little take home gift as a thank you for coming to our party. And I went ahead and got these bags from Target as well. I thought they would sort of be reminiscent of sprinkles from the character is it cakey cupcake i don't know what the character's name is um so that's what we ended up doing and i think the kids and en hopefully enjoyed them they seemed to like the idea so we had a couple of dinosaurs and a couple of the butterfly ones as well So I wanted to have a little arts and crafts set up for the kids to do if they wanted to. And in the beginning of Gabby's Dollhouse episodes, she gets these kitty cat surprise boxes. Um, and they're different theme depending on the theme of the show of the day. And so I thought it would be a really cute idea if the kids wanted to decorate their own boxes in any way that they could. Some kids did not know what Gabby's Dollhouse was and others did. Um, but either way, it's just an arts and crafts they don't have to necessarily know the show in order to make one so I found these white boxes with lids absolutely perfect for this arts and crafts from Michaels I'm gonna try to find them online and link them down below they were only a couple of dollars each and there's always coupons at Michaels um, and Sydney has this little table in her playroom with the cups so I just filled them with washable markers crayons and then a couple of glue sticks and I went ahead and out of white cardstock paper made the ears um, just to get that set up so that you know it was ready to go for when they arrived This would also be a really good idea for goodie boxes. If you're doing like a pinata or you do do those little trinkets, they can take home their little goodie bag inside these cat boxes. That was another idea that I had before I found those ceramic items at uh, Target. Um, so I also had a bunch of colored cardstock a bunch of different colors of cardstock and I went ahead and cut out little different shapes like polka dots hearts stripes triangles um so the kids could kind of make their own whatever they wanted to do and I set them up on paper towels around the uh, tables and so that way you know they have their own little arts and crafts station
So finding Gabby's dollhouse balloons was actually pretty difficult. I only found one set off of Amazon, but it kept coming in and out of stock, so I wasn't able to snag them. So I just grabbed the rainbow number six balloon from Amazon and then some teal and purple balloons at my local grocery store. Sydney decided to dress up in her little mermaid dress up and pretend to be Mercat, one of her favorite characters from Gabby's dollhouse. Um, and then I ended up making some spinach and artichoke dip in the crock pot I've made this a few times um, for different parties and on my channel as well as in my f I believe it's in my fall recipes um, if you guys have that um, that is where you can find the recipe lots of cheese lots of cheese a little bit of spinach so it's basically healthy since it has a whole pack of spinach in it um, but it is delicious and I served these with some tortilla chips like scoops um, and then for drinks I had some kids juice boxes we had bottles of water and flavored seltzer I then set out some cups filled with popcorn, the lesser than evil, like no cheesy, cheesy popcorn has been Sydney and I's favorite for a little while now. So I went ahead and filled up some cups of popcorn so the kids could just grab them as soon as they come in the door if they want to. Um, and I have seen really cute and inexpensive printables from Etsy that you could totally tape around the cups. I didn't think of this until last minute and it was just too late, but that's another idea um, if you're setting up some cups or something like this you can totally use those from Etsy I went ahead and just ordered pizza a bunch of different types of pizza so I didn't have to worry about cooking and then also my uh, friend makes charcuterie boards and so I ordered a charcuterie board for Sydney's party from her um, and she made these butterfly cheddar cutouts and a cutout of her name and just put things that kids would enjoy like lollipops and cookies on there as well as some fruit and veggies um, for, you know, just for some health. <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and leave her handle in the description box below. And my cousin also makes cakes and Sydney wanted a mercat head uh, for her cake. And so my cousin made that and it was pink with sprinkles inside. And I will leave her handle down below as well. Um, if you guys are in Maine and are interested, if you have a party coming up, um, I will leave their info down below. Everything was delicious. We had so much fun celebrating Sydney. I hope you guys enjoyed this little peek into Sydney's party at home. Um, and thank you all for all of her birthday wishes. I got so many messages on Instagram and all of the love for my child just fills my heart and makes me just so happy. So thank you guys for being here and I will see you in the next video. I only spent one Rainbow Scratch paper. Wow.